hi it's sarah welcome back or welcome if you are new in today's video i'm going to be doing a spring refresh here in my kitchen i took down all my easter decor and we are going to freshen up the space for the rest of spring whenever we move into a new season or holiday i like to take everything off my counters even if i'm going to use it again I just like to start nice and fresh and give everything a nice clean. I did change up a few things here in my kitchen. I got a new kitchen cabinet that I just love so much and I'm so excited to decorate. And I also spray painted a few things that you'll see in a little bit, but I just wanted to give you a little look at the before and then we will get to decorating. I did lay everything out there on my kitchen island and a few things on my kitchen table that I'm planning on to decorate with today. A lot of the stuff I'm decorating with today is stuff I've had before. I did buy a few new things that I'm going to share with you, but like I said, a lot of the stuff is stuff that I've already had here in my home. I am so excited to decorate with you today and freshen up the space for the spring season. Please give this video a big thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and it gives you tons of ideas and inspiration to decorate your own space for spring. Here is a little look at everything that I'm planning on using to decorate with today. Like I said, a lot of this stuff I've had before, but I did buy a few new pieces that I'm going to share with you. I will make sure to link my Amazon the storefront down below so you can go and check that out if you would like. A lot of this stuff is from Amazon and I will try linking everything else that I can as well. So you can go and check out those links if you would like. I love the cottage farmhouse look so that is what I'm going for in here. I'm going to be using a lot of neutrals, greenery, flowers, candles, and just making it nice and cozy and welcoming in here. These are beautiful mango wood bowls I found on Amazon and I just love the look of these. I did pick up six of them. I might go back and get a few more but I found these on Amazon and then I also have these stoneware ivory dinner plates and I found these on Amazon as well. I just love the simple look of them and I just think they're so pretty. These embossed ceramic bowls I found on Amazon. I just love them and how each one is a little different with a different design on them. They are so pretty. They are dishwasher and microwave safe. And I love the neutral farmhouse look that they give. I think they are going to go really well with everything else that I have here in my kitchen. These plates and bowls I actually had for a little while but I had no place to display them at so I'm excited that I get to pull them out now and use them in my new cabinet. I found this wood sign that says the secret ingredient is always love at Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 and I thought it was really cute and it would go perfect here in my kitchen for spring or really any time of the year. At Hobby Lobby I also picked up some of these really pretty Cosmo stems. I know these are very popular and I really wanted some for a while so I grabbed some when I had the chance and they were 40% off. I also grabbed some of these big wooden utensils at Hobby Lobby as well. I was able to make the two hour trip into town to a Hobby Lobby a few weeks ago and I was able to grab a few things when I was there. So A few things I'm sharing is what I picked up at Hobby Lobby when we went into town. We don't get to go there very often so I always try to make a stop there before we leave. I always have a plan in my head when I go in because it can be very overwhelming with everything they have so I try to stick to what I know I want to look at or what I need and it just makes things a little easier for me because oh my goodness they have so much stuff there. This faux dogwood plant I found at Target. I just love how realistic looking it is. I did share it in my last video, but I'm going to bring it in here because I think I have the perfect spot for it here in my kitchen. I also found this small wood serving board at Target as well. We also live two hours away from a Target, so usually I go online and buy stuff from Target. So. That is where both of the plant and the serving board came from. I've been looking for a wood bakery sign to use in my kitchen and I found this one on Amazon and I'm really happy with it. It is very well made and it is a decent size. It is 6 by 18 and it was $24 so I think it was totally worth the price. 
When I was in town, I also stopped by Goodwill and found this big tan ceramic bowl and I was really happy to find it. It was $7 and I've been looking for a big bowl like this to use in my kitchen. So when I came across this, I had to grab it and I cannot wait to use it. I did pick up a few other things that I'm going to use later on in my summer decorating. So you'll have to come back so you can see what else I picked up. I'm newish to thrifting. I've thrifted a few things here and there, but with living in a small town again, we only have one small thrift store and they don't carry a lot of stuff. So I don't thrift a lot, but eventually I would like to get into it if I can. We're going to start over here with my new kitchen cabinet that I picked up on Amazon. I needed something a little smaller because this space is not very big. So this works out perfect. I love the three shelves and the glass doors down there at the bottom. It gives me more space that I need here in my kitchen and I'm excited to decorate this up. Here is a little look at the before. I took down the two shelves that I have and this hanging rack. I do have a hanging rack on my kitchen island, so I wasn't too sad to take this down. I loved how this looks, but having a cabinet here is just more realistic for our needs, and I've always loved the idea of having a hutch in my kitchen, but we just don't have the space for it because our kitchen is not very big, so this works out great. It gives me the feeling of having a hutch in my kitchen, even though it is not a hutch. It was actually only a hundred dollars so it was a pretty good deal for this and I love changing things around in my home I actually do it pretty often I think it is fun I enjoy it and I really love just freshening up my spaces and making things feel like new again all right you guys we are going to start decorating up this cabinet and I cannot wait for you guys to see how it turns out in the end windows down Scattered clouds, smell of spring, I'm sight. Open road, you sit in close. Let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine.
I love how this cabinet turned out. It makes me so happy. It is so fun that I'm able to display some of the dishes that I have. And I love having that basket down there at the bottom. And I was able to add some extra dish towels that I had down there. So I think that is a great spot for them. I added in a few sweet spring touches here and there. And of course I added in my flameless candle up there at the top to bring in a little more warmth and coziness. I've had this up for a few days now and every time I walk past it, it just makes me smile. I think it was so beautiful and it is everything that I envisioned it to be. Now we are moving on over here to this counter and I'm adding back in my chicken wire shelf from Amazon that I have. I want to keep everything nice and simple here with that bakery sign there in the middle as the main focus. Blue sky calm bearing up before us we hang on the hem of your gown blue sky come promise not to leave us tarry not to our town Over here in this corner, I'm going to use this two-tier tray that I had. I decorated this up for Easter and had it on my table, but I took off some of the Easter stuff that I had on here, like the Easter signs and stuff like that, and I kept everything else. I love how I decorated this. I think it turned out really pretty, and I thought it would look really nice over here in this corner. So I'm just going to keep this over here, and I just added another one of my flameless candles down there at the bottom to finish it off. Next to the tray, I'm going to just place my favorite cookbook that I use all the time. It is the Linehouse Cookbook. It has so many delicious and easy recipes in it, and we just love them. So I'm just going to display this cookbook over here. Over here I'm going to cover up this outlet with this round wood cutting board that I found at Bell's Outlet and then I have this really pretty exposed clay stoneware platter that I found at Walmart and it's Better Homes and Gardens and I'm just going to layer it in front of the cutting board. Then I found this framed flower art at Dollar General. It was $5 and I just thought it was really pretty for spring so I'm just going to place it in front of everything else.
Over here on this counter next to my stove, I'm going to add this tray and then I have this really pretty scalloped edge pot that I found at Home Depot. Oh my goodness, is this the cutest or what? I just love it. This is like the same one that I used over on my cabinet, but this one is not round. I also picked that one up at Home Depot, but I'm just going to use this one for a holder for some of my wood utensils that I have. Then I'm just going to add back in this lamp that I have. I love using lamps in my kitchen. I think it just makes the whole space feel so warm and cozy. So I'm just going to add this back in. It actually used to be a different color. But after living with it for a little while, I wasn't loving the color of it. So instead of going out and buying a new lamp, I decided to spray paint it a matte black. And now I just love it. Down there at the bottom, I placed that little salt crock that I found at Target, and then I wanted to bring in a little greenery, so I'm adding in this green little plant that I have that is also from Target. I found these striped sage green dish towels on Amazon. I love using sage green in my kitchen for spring and summer, and I just thought these were really pretty. They came as a pack of four, and they were $14. I'm going to place one of these on a towel ladder, and then I'm going to add it to the back of everything to cover up the outlet. here on this hanging rack on my kitchen island I did keep everything the same but I did take that conversions chart that was on my other hanging rack and placed it on this one and then I'm just taking another one of those sage green dish towels that I have and just hanging over the rack Now that my counter is nice and clean after having everything on top of it, we are going to decorate this up some. I don't like doing too much on here because we do use this counter a lot, so I do like to keep it more on the simple side, but in the end, I'm so happy with how it turned out and it is exactly the look I was going for. I wanted to do something a little different than I usually do, so I started with this a big bowl that I found at a thrift store, and then I took another one of those sage green dish towels and hung it on the side of the bowl, and then inside I'm just going to add some of these rolling pins that I have. Then I found this artificial plant at Bell's Outlet about a year ago, and I'm just going to place it in the bowl and let it hang out a little.
All right, you guys, as you can see, I did spray paint my bar stools that matte black that I used on the lamp. And oh my goodness, I just love them. I did ask in my comment section if you guys think I should paint these or not. Some said yes, some said no, and some suggested another color but i did end up painting them this black well. our kitchen and our family room lead right into each other they are basically one room and i do have a lot of dark colors over here so i wanted to bring in a little darker colors in the kitchen as well just to make everything flow better and like i said i love to change things up and i thought why not if i hate it i can just spray paint them white again <laughs> but i'm really happy with how they turned out i love the black against the white i think they stand out a little more and i just love them here in my kitchen so i'm really happy that i did it but who knows you might come back next month and i might change them another color because that is what i do around here let me know down below in the comments what you think of the black bar stools instead of the white i always love to hear from you and what your opinions are so leave me a comment and let me know I follow only golden, 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 golden things, golden, I follow only golden. Over here on my table, I'm going to start with this floral crochet table runner that I found on Amazon. And oh my goodness, I just love this. It is so soft and dainty looking. It is just perfect and exactly what I was looking for. Then I'm going to take this big black face that I have. I found this a Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to place it there in the middle. And then I'm going to add some of those Cosmo stems that I have inside of it. Then I'm going to finish this off with a black taper candle holder and place a white twisted candle inside of it. And don't worry, that candle will never be lit, so it's okay to be close to the flowers, so you don't need to worry about it, it's okay. you guys that is it we are done if you stayed with me here until the end thank you so much it really does help my channel out but here is a little look at the before and then the after i think this has to be one of my favorite ways that i decorated on my kitchen it just makes me so happy and i just love it so much it definitely gives the cottage farmhouse look that i was going for i love that new cabinet my painted bar stools and i just love how everything came together I love those sweet little touches of spring that I added in and I think it feels very warm and welcoming in here just like I wanted. When we move into summer I like to decorate with lemons so you will see a lot of yellow coming up here soon but until then I'm going to enjoy this nice and neutral simple look that I have for springtime. of this quiet town I see you there your feathers on the all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me today as I decorated here in my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it, and don't forget to come back. There will be more decorating videos coming your way. Make sure to say hi down below in the comments and let me know what you think of my kitchen and how I decorated it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Take your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still take five.